Hello, I'm Matt Griffin with this EPS Inspires Moment. For Heritage High School theater students, this spring has been a throwback to an earlier age, specifically the golden age of comics. I spoke with them about their creation of a series of radio plays based on some iconic comic book heroes. Superman and Batman first appeared in the comic books in the late 1930s and in radio and film dramas by the early 1940s. Kellogg's Pep. The super delicious cereal presents the adventures of Superman. So, when the coronavirus forced all of our theater programs to forego in-person stage productions, theater director Charles Jackham, himself a comic book fan, thought, why not? Most good things in life, it was born out of necessity. And I've always had a fondness for radio theater or, or um, uh, voiceover actors and... Uh, I thought it would be a fun experience for the students and certainly uh, a fun experience for me. And it, it really has been. So weekly this spring, Heritage Theater students past and present have been gathering for rehearsals and recording sessions, recording one portion of their radio play each week. We spend an hour and a half just reading through one part. We read through specific parts of the script that are highlighted and then we read it through once we record it and then we have that part done. Then we get through an entire episode in one rehearsal. So then that like, comes in a few weeks later as he, like, Mr. Jackham just keeps putting him out every week. Cast members found inspiration from Batman and Superman actors and television shows across the decades. I actually had growing up a DVD of a couple episodes of that cartoon. And it was like a huge nostalgia blast going through this uh, this particular play because we do a lot of references to that sort of era of Superman. There's two different versions of Batman in this show. And so I have two different Batman voices. Um, the first voice that you hear is an imposter of Batman. So what I did was I... Um, just did an impression of the um, animated series, Batman. You know, the, my name is Batman and I talk like this all the time, you know? Um, so that's that's my imposter Batman voice is because I'm, you know, doing an impression of somebody. Um, but my real, real Batman voice, um, I've kind of drawn inspiration from um, Adam West and also the um, challenge of the Super Friends. Um, and, you know, versus the Legion of Doom. I took inspiration from a, a character in a show called Peaky Blinders, which is about a bunch of British gangsters by a, uh, Killian Murphy's character. I took inspiration from that. But uh, I, I just really liked how I could I could go with um, the British accent, but not to make it too posh. I think it sounds like a very original Alfred. The cast also includes Merrick Valko, an exchange student from Slovakia. He doesn't have a web camera, but tells me he's really enjoyed playing the villain. I just always enjoyed acting, and I feel like the villain always has to deliver more. And I was like, eh, it's, sounds fun, sounds challenging. Any last requests, gentlemen? Yeah, Mr. Jones, I'd like to see you drop dead. Amen to that. That is just what I'm about to arrange for you to do, right now. And through it all, students are rising to the challenge of bringing characters to life, with their voices alone. I have, you know, a lot of lines and I have to deliver them, but then I have to also have to make sure that they are like understandable um, to the audience because it's just your voice. Like they can't see my lips or anything. We're taking words off a page and bringing them to life. And that's what theater is all about. Whether it is virtual, whether it is just the sound of our voice and we are doing theater of the mind or or whether we're on stage which we hope to be next year altogether the heritage thespians are creating 11 action-packed episodes i'll mention that i did some post-production work for this series of radio plays and it's been a real joy watching the plays come together now to check them out just go to the link on your screen or look for it in the comment section to this video for evergreen public schools i'm matt griffin